my dear friends let's surrender all of the barriers keeping us from experiencing both physical and spiritual health and give ourselves up to jesus healing touch gospel reading for today catholic mass readings and gospel reflection for september 9 2024 monday of the 23rd week in ordinary time memorial of saint peter clavo priest first reading a reading from the first letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 5 verses 1 to 8 brothers and sisters it is widely reported that there is immorality among you and immorality of a kind not found even among pagans a man living with his father's wife and you are inflated with pride should you know to rather have been sorrowful the one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst i for my part although absent in body but present in spirit have already as if present pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed in the name of our lord jesus christ when you have gathered together and i am with you in spirit with the power of the lord jesus you want to deliver this man to satan for the destruction of his flesh so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the lord your boasting is not appropriate do you know to know that a little yeast leavens all dough clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough in as much as you are unleavened for our paschal lamb christ has been sacrificed therefore let us celebrate the feast not with the old yeast the yeast of malice and wickedness but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response lead me in your justice lord for you o god delight not in wickedness no evil man remains with you the arrogant may not stand in your sight you hate all evil doers your response lead me in your justice lord You destroy all who speak falsehood the bloodthirsty and the deceitful the Lord abhors Your response lead me in your justice Lord But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exult forever protect them that you may be the joy of those who love your name Your response lead me in your justice Lord the acclamation alleluia alleluia my sheep hear my voice says the lord i know them and they follow me alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 6 verses 6 to 11 on a certain sabbath jesus went into the synagogue and taught and there was a man there whose right hand was withered the scribes and the pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him but he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand come up and stand before us and he rose and stood there then jesus said to them 
I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel Reflection, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today's Gospel, Luke 6, 6-11, is more important for our lives. It is an appeal to select harmony over conflict, compassion over prejudice, and love over hatred. My dear friends, take a look at this man's withered hand. The touch of Jesus shines on his face. Joy in his countenance. Both his body and hand are strengthened. He has come back and is alive and healthy. Let us make a conscious effort to be peacemakers in a world that is still filled with suffering and miscommunication. My dear friends, today's Gospel, Luke 6, 6-11, calls us to choose to act morally, preserve life, and show love every day of our lives. May we choose in faith to reach out with our own withered hands today, seeking the healing touch of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, you assure us that we will have a share in the everlasting peace of heaven by defeating sin and death on the cross and by rising from the dead. Please change my heart to reflect your love so that I can freely assist my neighbor in his best interest and take pleasure in celebrating Sunday as the Lord's Day. Amen. Please do like, share and subscribe. My dear friends, please subscribe and follow us on Reddit, Twitter, Instapaper, Instagram, Pinterest and Tumblr. Thank you and God bless you.